divisional rounds is officially underway here on the Curie Division of the first Robotics World Championship. We have Alliance number one in red, Alliance number eight in blue. Currently they are tied. Quickly scoring game piece for game piece. Red Alliance seems to be tackling all on level four. Blue Alliance looking to do the same. Seems like Red Alliance is going to take the advantage here. Moving into our teleoperated period with a score of 74 to 55. Robots are going to come alive and their student drivers are about to take control. 7457 Super Duper Robotics currently undefeated here on the Curie Division. Begin scoring some algae immediately from their Reven up into the barge. Their partners, the Robo Chargers, joining beside them. Hopefully they'll be able to get their rebound and put it on up for another five points. On the Blue Alliance side of the field, 58-13, Morpheus seems to be working back and forth and back and forth to grab some algae from the reef and scoring it into the Blue Alliance barge, attempting to get those points scored up in there, removing them from the processor, makes it a little bit easier than going directly into the barge. The human player from 58-13 is going to score one free throw for them as well. On the Red Alliance side of the field, we have three red robots cycling their robots from their human feed station over to their scoring locations. 40, 20, and Super Duper seems to be in charge of the Coral, while the Robot Chargers are going to make a pit stop at the Reef, but they seem like they are the Algae Bot here in this match, taking care of as much as possible. Blue Alliance side of the field looks like the Alliance Captain 6329 may be stuck in their place. Hopefully they'll be able to regain connection and score some points here in match number one. Their partner's Morpheus, 58-13, seems to be cycling uninterrupted, trying to weave their way around the Algae. Blue Alliance has two pieces of Algae left. Red Alliance only has one. They'll be able to remove that. Red Alliance takes the early lead here with about a minute left to go. Red Alliance advantage 178 to 138. That's a 30, 40 point cushion for the Red Alliance. That'll allow them to take their time during end game to score some more points if possible. Looks like Red Alliance is trying to make their way around that final piece of algae and 4020 is gonna take care of that directly into the processor for six points. Blue Alliance has completely de algae their reef and is looking to score their final pieces of coral. The Robo Chargers going for their layup attempt and they're gonna sink it right into the basket. Just kidding, they're gonna try themselves one more time and dropping that in with ease. Red Alliance only has a couple open slots left on their reef. Blue Alliance looking to do the same. Blue Alliance majority open to Red Alliance has one slot on level two and that is taken care of by team 4020. That sound means it's time for our end game. Teams are going to start shifting their focus to the cages hanging underneath the barge. Robots are going to try to engage and climb towards the sky. Looks like we have three Red Alliance robots up here with three, two, one, and time expires. We have five robots seemingly bubbled up to the surface, and we'll be back with your official results of match number going to be the Red Alliance. They're walking home with a win with a score of 270 to 191. An impressive first match on either side of these alliances. Red Alliance is going to advance to upper bracket round two match number seven. We're not saying goodbye to Alliance.